Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with game two of the 90 Reds versus the 84 Padres. If you recall, the Reds won game one handily. And so now here we are in game two. This is a best of five series. First team that wins three, wins the series, and advances to play the 87 Giants in the next round. So, we will see who gets that um, uh, that honor. But right now, there's a game to be played. And uh, out on the mound for San Diego, this game will be Eddie Whitson. And Eddie Whitson in 1984 for the Padres was 14-8 and eight with a 324 earned run average. He pitched 189 innings and he allowed 181 hits. And he will face off against Billy Duran. And Bill Duran gets a pop out to the shortstop. So that is pop out to five or six, actually six. One away. That brings up Barry Larkin. He gets a four seven. That's a strikeout. Two away. And that's the first strikeout for Eddie Whitson. And that brings up Hal Morris, the first baseman. He gets a 4-4. That's a ground ball to the third baseman. And the third baseman is Greg Nettles. And he is a 2 at third. And that's a 9. And he is retired. So Morris grounds out. 5-3. to three, And the Reds go 1-2-3 in the first. That brings up the 84 Padres and Alan Wiggins. And Alan Wiggins will be facing Danny Jackson, today's Cincinnati pitcher. Danny Jackson in 1990 for the Reds was 6-6 six and six with a 361 earned run average. And in 117 innings, he allowed 119 hits. And Wiggins gets a pop out to third. So that's one away and he's... Um, starts out similarly to how Duran did, except he pops out to the third baseman. Tony Gwynn gets a 3-9. That's a single. So, let's see here. We got a up. Steve Garvey's up, the first baseman. He gets a 6-11. That's a walk. So the Padres now have two guys on. And uh, Jackson walks him. Two runners on, one out. McReynolds up. He gets a 2 9. That's a ground ball shortstop into a double play. 6 4 3. It, that will bring to the plate for the Reds Chris Sabo. And Sabo gets a 3 7, which is a fly ball to left. One away. Fly out to seven. Eric Davis gets a two seven. That's a strikeout. So he strikes out. That's a second K for Whitson. And Glenn Braggs comes in and he gets a walk. And Glenn Braggs, if you remember, he is a replacement for O'Neill. O'Neill is injured for the rest of the tournament. But Braggs does walk, and that's the first base runner that Whitson has allowed. And we'll put a guy right there. And Billy Hatcher's up, and that's a 6-2, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And I believe that that is the third out. Greg Nettles is up. And he gets a 112, which is a ground ball, third base B. One away. So, yeah, Nettles grounds out five to three. Carmelo Martinez gets a 6 5, and that's a strikeout. First strikeout for Danny Jackson, and that's two down. And Gary Templeton is up. And Gary Templeton gets a 2-9, which is a double one to 17. And that is going to be a double.
Got uh, Templeton up there. Terry Kennedy's up, and he gets a 4 6, which is a walk. So there's two on with two out. And Jackson walking his second guy. And Luis Salazar is up, and he strikes out. So he ends the threat. Herm Winningham is up. His first at bat of the game, and he strikes out one away. And that's Whitson's third K of the game. Joe Oliver gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball third base B, two away. He grounds 5-3. to three. For the second out, and Billy Duran back to the top of the order. He gets a 5-4, and that's a fly ball to right, and he is out. And the Reds get no runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third in a scoreless game, tight game. I figured that these two would match up better than it appeared they would be in game one. Alan Wiggins is back to the top of the order in the third inning for the Padres. And that's a 6-8. That's a double one to six or a single. And that is going to be a double for Wiggins. Second double of the game for the Padres. Win gets a 1 8, and that's a single double asterisk and drives in the first run. And also, I have to catch this up. And they do get a run. So, Gwyn with a single and an RBI knocking Wiggins home. And it's one nothing. Steve Garvey comes up. He gets a one ten. That's a pop out to second. So that's the first out. Pop out to four. McReynolds comes up. He gets a six five. That's a strikeout to away. Third strikeout for Danny Jackson. And Nettles comes up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a pop-out to second. Then goes out to the mound, pitching a no-hitter so far. No-hitting the red, the 90 Reds, which is pretty amazing. And Larkin steps up. He gets a 3-5. That's a fly ball to center. One away. And that was in a good column for him, too. Fly out to 8. One down. Hal Morris gets a 2-3, which is a line out to first. Line out to three, two down, quickly. And Chris Sabo gets a one nine, which is a double one to five. That's going to break up the no hitter. And it's a single instead. So Chris Sabo with a single. They get their first hit. And the man is already there because I left him there from last inning. And Chris Davis, no, Eric Davis, comes up. He gets a 3-7, which is a triple one or a double. And that's going to be a double. Now, the question is, does a runner score? That's Sabo. He's 15 running. And um, let's see. What was that? 3-7. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's a double. Yeah, it's a double. Uh, so, so here's the question. Is... Sabo going to try to score. The ball is to right field. The right fielder is Gwyn. And he has a plus one arm. So, yeah, that's a no-brainer. They're going to try to score him. And he does make it easy. So that's another hit. And it's a run. Whitson gives up the second hit and his first earned run. And Glenn Braggs is up and he gets a 2-9 and that is a triple 1-3 to three or a single. And that's going to be a triple. And 
and Billy Hatcher gets a 210, which is a pop out to third, and that ends the inning. With the score, two to one, Reds leading. Carmelo Martinez is up. He gets a four, seven. That's a single one to five. And that will be, in fact, a line out to second base. So Carmelo Martinez, line out to four, one away. Gary Templeton gets a 6-9. That is a triple 1-3 to three or a single. And that's going to be a single. So Templeton, I believe, has his second hit, right? Yes, he does. And Jackson give up, gives up his fifth hit. And yeah, he's there. Kennedy, four, seven, is a single one to five. And that will be a line out to second, two away. And with two down, up steps Luis Salazar. He gets a six, eight. That's a double one to six or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk. So there's runners are at the corners. Runners are now at the corners and Alan Wiggins is up and he gets a 1-3 which is a pop out to first. Red still leading 2-1. to one. Herm Winningham up. He gets a 4-6. That's a ground ball to short. That's Templeton. Templeton is a 2 at shortstop. That's a 15. That might be something. No it isn't. It's an out. That's it's something but it's an out. So Winningham um, bout, bounces six to three, one away. And Al Oliver's up, he gets a 210, which is a ground ball pitcher B, two away. So that's three to one, or one to three, other way around. And with two down, we have Billy Duran up, and he gets a 6-8, and that's a single one to 14, and that is a single. And that's another hit given up by Whitson, and we got to catch up the Reds because they're up to five hits with that hit. And Barry Larkin's up, he gets a 5-7, and that is a strikeout. And it's a very close game, still 2-1. to one. Anybody's game, Gwyn is up. He gets a 6-6, six, six. that's a strikeout. And that is the fourth strikeout for Dan Jackson. And Steve Garvey comes up, he gets a 1-6, that's a ground ball short, two away. Uh, six to three. And Kevin McReynolds gets a two nine, which is a ground ball short, and also he bounces out six to three. And we're getting close to nasty boy territory here for the Reds, who have the two to one lead still. Hal Morris comes up in the top of the sixth for them. Three six, that's a single for big Hal Morris. So he gets a hit. And that is the sixth hit allowed for Whitson and puts a man on and also gives the Reds their sixth hit. There we go. Chris Sabo up four six. He gets a ground to short. That's Templeton. He's a two. That is a six. That's probably going to be a double play and it is. So a six four three double play. Puts them at two down. And Eric Davis up and he gets a 4-3 and that is a catcher card. That's Terry Kennedy. Terry Kennedy is a three at catcher. That's a four. Let's see what that is. And that's a pop out. So Eric Davis pops out to two and we are down. The Reds get no runs in the sixth. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, two to one. 
Greg Nettles is up. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman's Bill Duran, and he's a 3. That is a 19. 19 and 3 is probably a roll again, and it is. And that's a 3 and a 3. That's going to be a single. So Nettles ripping a hit for the Padres in the 6th. Seventh hit allowed for uh, by Danny Jackson. Carmelo is up. He gets a four nine. That is a single. So Danny Jackson's in a little bit of uh, hot water here. And the with that the Reds are going to get. Some action up in the bullpen throwing. And Gary Templeton's up with two on and no out. And he gave up his eighth hit. Yeah. Yep. Gary Templeton. And he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center field, one away. Terry Kennedy's up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a strikeout. Two away. And so, quick recovery here by um, Dan Jackson. And 3-8 is a ground ball. Third base for Salazar. So, they get out of the inning. But, that was not to be. That was not the situation. Glenn Braggs comes up. He gets a 4-5. That's a ground ball. Second. One away. So you've got a four to three out for Braggs. Billy Hatcher's up. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball short. He's a two. That's a 10. That might be something. That, and there we go. My memory's serving me right this time. And that is a two base error by Gary Templeton. So Hatcher is on by a two base error. And let's make sure we give Templeton that error or at least give the team the error Winningham is up with an out and that's a 2-6 which is a double 1-17 to and knocks in the run so that's going to be um, a run so let's see here Winningham Oliver's up. That's a 4-9. 4-9 is a fly ball to left field for Oliver. Fly out to 7. There's 2 down. And Duran is up. Duran, Duran. He gets a walk. So he fills in the base. And Whitson with his Got it his second walk. Not that that's 100% accurate. Larkin is up. 2 6 is a single one to seven. And that is actually going to be a single, and it's going to load the bases. It was a one asterisk, so nobody can go any further than that anyway. He moves the second, he moves the third. They have the bases loaded with two outs. That is another hit for the Reds. And Hal Morris up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a pop-out to short. Orm Charlton on for the Reds. I know that there's a lot of uh, Reds fans out there following the series and wanted to see the Nasty Boys make an appearance. So the first one of those is Charlton, and Jackson goes 6. Doesn't pitch too poorly. He allows 8 hits in 6 innings, uh, walks 2, strikes out 5, and allows only one earned run. And he is, um, Charlton is now on to face Allen the Wiggins. And he gets a 2-5, which is a fly to center, one away. We're at the top of the order for the Padres. Tony Gwynn comes up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. 
Charlton gives up his first hit. That is a hit for the Padres, who are out hitting the Reds, but not outscoring them. Garvey is up. He gets a 6-5. That is a strikeout, two away. Charlton with his first K, and it comes in the form of Steve Garvey, and now there's a man on, two down, and McReynolds is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center. This is going to give way to Craig Lefferts. And Chris Sabo is up in the top of the eighth. He gets a 4-5. That is a fly ball right field, one away. Eric Davis is up. He gets a 1-5. That's a fly ball center field, two away very quickly for the Reds. And... Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 6-11. 6-11 is a fly ball to right. That is Tony Gwynn, and he is a 1. And that might be the new error or on base. Yes, it is. Safe at second on error. So Tony Gwynn with his second error. It used to be a 1 was that, but now it is the... Um, and that's actually two errors. i got to catch that up, too. And, uh, and so Braggs on with that error. And Hatcher comes up and he gets the 3-8, which is a triple 1-7 to seven or a double. And that's probably going to ice this one. It's a double and it knocks in a run. Ham comes up, he gets a 2-8, which is a single. Puts runners at the corners. Lefferts giving up his second hit right there. And that is, let's catch that up, because that's two more hits for the Reds, and that brings them to ten hits. And they've already scored another run. And Oliver comes up, and that's a 4-8. No, 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven is a ground ball second base. He is a... The second baseman for them is a, Alan Wiggins. He's a three. That's an 18 and a three at second is a roll again, as I figured. And that's a 10 and a three, and that's a one base error. So another error by the Padres. Little sloppy play here today. Oliver on by an error. E4 and that scores Hatcher. And that brings in a second run in this inning for the Reds. And Duran is up, and he gets a 6-3, which is a ground ball first base, and he is out. Not what the Padres really wanted. That's not how they wanted the game to come out. Nettles is up. He gets a 5-12, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So that's 1-3. He's out. Carmelo Martinez gets a 111. That's a pop out to third, two away. Pop out to five. And Gary Templeton gets a 5 3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is a two. Defensively, that's going to be a single. Gary Templeton with a hit. Pass Charlton. Charlton gives up his second base hit. That is the. 10th hit for the Padres, and Kennedy comes up, and he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball first base, and he is out. So, 3-1. to one. The Padres get no runs in the 8th. And so, the score remains 5-1. to one. And, um, yeah, top of the ninth for the Reds. Leffert's still out there. 5-5 five, five is a triple one or a single. That is going to be a single. So Larkin with a base hit. That's the 11th hit for the Padres. 
Cal Morris is up. He gets a 4-8. That is a single 1-8. to eight. And that will be, in fact, a line out to second, one down. Sabo is up. That's a 2-6, which is a walk. So the Reds have two guys on with one out. Sabo drawing a walk. First walk allowed by Lefferts. Eric Davis up. He gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball, shortstop, a 6-4-3 double play, and the Reds are out of the inning. They really don't care because that, and we don't see them coming back. No runs, and that's going to be it for uh, Charlton. Charlton pitched two. And he will give way to Scott Scudder because they have a huge lead. They don't need any more nasty boys to come in this game. Might as well save them for the next game. Um, and Scudder coming on. To pitch to Luis Salazar. And he gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to third. Pop-out to five, one away. Wiggins comes on, he gets a 4-6. That's a pop-out to first. There's two away. And that brings up Tony Gwynn. And he gets a 5-4, and that is a ground ball shortstop. That's Larkin. He's a 1. That's a 15. And that is an out. And Gwynn is retired. 6-3. Uh, to three. And Scudder gets a perfect inning. And he does not get a save. But Danny Jackson does get the win. And um, Whitson is saddled with the loss. And now the Padres are down two games to nothing. And the next game will be in Cincinnati. We're going to move this series to Cincinnati. And if Cincinnati can win the first game in Cincinnati, they will beat out the 84 Padres and advance to play the 87 Giants in the uh, next round. But that's it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.